from Tuesday. Nigeria Correctional Services publishes identities of 31 fleeing inmates from Suleja Custodial Center. On the foreign scene, flight operations resume after global IT outage. In sport, Nigeria forward Stanley Ihanacho joins Portuguese club CD Mafra. Now the details. I am Taiwo Barua. The Lagos State Government is set to host stakeholders at its Budget Council Treaty Forum across five locations in the state. Commissioner for Economic Planning and Budget, Mushokba Fulu George, while speaking on our program, Your Side Mirror, listed the locations to include Lagos Island, Ikeja, Ikurudu, Badagri, and Epe George, who expressed the government's commitment to transparency, accountability, and the building public trust. In the implementation process of the State Appropriation Bill, said the forum will commence from Tuesday, July 23. He said the forum will start with the ministry giving stewardship of eight activities on the budget of the ongoing year before engaging citizens in their request and memoranda to be included in the budget of the coming year. The consultative forum is for us to go around all the five divisions, the billet divisions, uh, for us to hear from our people, uh, speak to them and uh, understand what it is they want to be put into the coming budget for year 2025. It also gives us an opportunity to uh, go back and give an account of what has happened in our 2024 budget and from the previous consultative forum. So it's a reporting mechanism, feedback mechanism, where we go back, give a report and then we get information for the next budget going forward. He explained that after the forum, the ministry will consult with every other ministries, departments and agencies to align and review the request of Lagosians to enable the state government to arrive at the required figures. The commissioner noted that the half-year reviews of the 2024 budget have been carried out and the state government is on target on all its macroeconomic indices, but plans to expand the revenue drive will with a focus on other sources outside taxes and internally generated revenue, IGR. There are a lot of people who are still not captured within the tax um, tax brackets, and I think what you'd find is that with proper technology and ruling out technology, we'll be able to capture a lot more people and bring them into the tax bracket. We'll also be able to streamline the tax process where uh, people know what they're paying for. I think sometimes a lot of challenges is that people feel there's multiple uh, taxation in various places, but all that is being streamlined to ensure that um, you know when you pay your tax, you know what you're paying for, and it's easier for people to, because people would pay the taxes once they know what they're paying for and they can see the service that, that is being delivered to them. Stakeholders expected at the forum include religious leaders, traditional rulers, youth groups, civil societies, market leaders, and local government representatives, among others. The Lagos State Materials Testing Laboratory Agency, LSMTL, is set to commence a research educational system to enhance undergraduate learning process in the engineering development field. The symbiotic liaison is targeted at establishing a material testing office within the premises of the Lagos State University of Science and Technology, Yokorodu Campus Latitech, as an educational fortress to conduct research on soil, steel, concrete, water, cables, and plumbing techniques. General Manager of LSMTL, Olayinke Abdul, made this known when she led a delegation of the Office of the Dean College of Engineering, Lassitech, Yakubu Bankoli. Abdul noted that for engineering learning processes to be well established, there is a need to stimulate a research scheme which is well rooted to its practical experiences, stimulating consistent research ideology towards a total rebranding of processes for optimal customer safety in a veteran building collapse. The Dean, College of Engineering, Lassitech Yakubo Bankoli, averred that the trend of development across settlements requires the government's presence using durable infrastructure, which students are being trained in maintaining through research processes and collaboration. The Presidential Compressed Natural Gas Initiative, PCNGI, 
is set to mobilize all 36 states by the end of the year, converting petrol-powered vehicles to CNG, a cleaner and a more affordable alternative. PCNGI's program execution coordinator for Larry Wu announced these at a rally held at the Mando Interstate in Terminal Kaduna, where 100 conversion kits were distributed to commercial transport union members. Oru said the initiative target commercial vehicles with partners in various states aiming to convert 250,000 vehicles per year starting next year. According to him, the conversion kit was 1.5 million naira would be free for transport unions to reduce transportation cost for the masses. And now to the rest of the stories. The Nigeria Correctional Service, NTOS, has published the identities of some inmates who escaped from its medium security custodial center in Suleja on April 24, following a heavy downpour which affected part of the perimeter fence. NTOS spokesman Abubakar Umar said several of the escapees had been reportedly recaptured, but 31 are still at large. Omar said publishing their identities has become pertinent in an effort to recapture them and bring them back to custody. According to him, the public is further enjoined to cooperate with the service to recapture these fleeing inmates as they pose a danger to public safety and national security. Omar said the public can report any sighting of the SKPs to the nearest security agent or agency or call the following numbers. 0708-7086-005 or 0906-0004-598. You can also call 0807-5050-006. Uh, the Nigerian police has issued a warning to Nigerians against collecting, keeping, or buying stolen items. Force Public Relations Officer Lumiwa Dejabi in a post on his ex handle reference, Section 427 of the Criminal Code Act, which states that anyone who receives stolen be, uh, goods, knowing they were obtained through felony or misdemeanor, is guilty of a felony. Adijabi said the offender is liable to imprisonment for 14 years, except in the case in which the thing obtained was postal matter or any chattel, money, or valuable security contained therein, in which case the offender is liable to imprisonment for life. He advised people to be cautious and not receive a keep or buy any item unless they are sure of their sources. In foreign news, multiple U.S. airlines say they are beginning to resume operations following a major worldwide computer systems outage that grounded or delayed thousands of flights across the country earlier today. The IT issue has wrought global havoc at airports, grounding flights in Europe and the United States, while also derailing television broadcasts in the UK and impacting telecommunications in Australia. The issue was apparently caused by an update to an antivirus program with Microsoft saying in a technical post on its website that the problems affected users of each Azure cloud platform running the cybersecurity software CrowdStrike Falcon. The US Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, which had earlier announced the ground of US carriers over communication issues, said later it was closely monitoring a technical issue impacting IT systems at US airlines. In sport now, Nigeria forward Stanley Ihanacho has completed a move to La Liga to Liga Portugal to outfit CD Mafra. Ihana Cho joined City Mafra from Danish Superliga outfit FC, FC Midland. The 19-year-old penned a five-year contract with the former football club and scored four goals 
in his debut for the club in a cup clash against Abania BK in September 2023. He failed to make a league appearance for the multi multiple Super League champions, but played a key role on that side, having won the Under-19 Youth League last season. The former Golden Eaglets player scored 12 goals and 22 appearances in the Youth League. And that's it on the news at four, but just before we go, slow down at road junctions, intersections, and pedestrian crossings. You can follow us and back on our various social media platforms. X at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Songwulu Administration renovated 197 public schools across the state? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State Government is set to hold stakeholders at its budget consultative forum across five locations in the state. The Nigeria Correctional Service, NTOS, has published the identities of some inmates who escaped from its medium security custodial center in Suleja on April 24, following a heavy downpour which affected part of the perimeter fence. We also told you that multiple U.S. airlines say they are beginning to resume operations following a major worldwide computer systems outage that grounded or delayed thousands of flights across the country earlier today. Finally, in sport, Nigeria forward Stanley Hianacho has completed a move to Liga Portugal to outfit CD Mafra. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Adiwali Ulu Poroku. I am Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Good afternoon and welcome to.